Hello everybody, welcome back to Atlanta Killer Show. Today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of a video. I'm just going to talk for, for a bit about what I would want to see in World of Warships. Rather than it being a negative video on the whole camo changes, I could easily do that, but honestly I'm trying not to get on the negative. The camo changes are coming regardless of what I say. Same way the super ships came, regardless of what I said on that topic, you know, we just don't have enough people to ever speak out against these changes, honestly, and that's part of the issue. But aside from that, I wanted to talk for a moment about what kind of stuff I'd like to see in World of Warships. I think there should be a possibility of these ships like USS Kitty Hawk to make it into the game without the missiles. I think they should find a way to bring Kitty Hawk into the game law with John F. Kennedy, the carriers. Right, they're gonna get scrapped soon. Kitty Hawk's making the trip down to the scrapyard as we speak. And John F. Kennedy, that uh, that carrier will be following pretty soon. And they're not ever gonna have museum ships. They're not gonna be museum ships, they're getting scrapped. So that's why I'm like, let's find a way to bring them into the game, but without the rockets. I mean, without the missiles, there's got to be some way to bring them into the game. There's got to be some way to bring some more modern ships into the game without going full on stupid with it. I'm thinking is that these modern ships should only be able to face super ships and nothing below super ships. That's what I'm thinking, like a steady progression from super ships into the modern ships. But they can't face the artillery ships below super ships. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. And ships that only have artillery guns, again, for the most part. And not ships with missiles on them right away. They put the ships, like, let's say theoretically, they stick the ships with missiles at tier 13 or 14, theoretically. That way they can only face the stupid super ships and not anything below that. Is there, this, this video is kind of sparked by a thread that was like tiers 11 through 15, question mark. I'm like, hmm, I think that could work, but only if you sit there and keep the missile ships away from the artillery ships. That's what you'd have to do, and obviously you can lower down the costs for the, for the other tiers before it. So it could be like a win-win for the game eventually. I think it could work, but honestly, I think part I would at least like to see Kitty Hawk make it in the game somehow, without the missiles being on it. I think it's possible. It's a slim but narrow chance, but I'd like to see it happen. And no, I haven't forgotten about the lower tier proposal that, that I've thought about in the past. I think that's important to consider too. Right now with World of Warships, you know, I I think that, that the game is, is heading in, in a weird direction at the moment, but I still think that we got to give our developers something to work with. We can't just do clone ship after clone ship, I'm sorry. It's just not going to work in the long run. We need to have, we need to sit there and find a way to bring in more ships that come up, that came out at later times. Not necessarily with the missiles, we can skip the ones with the missiles, but I think it should be possible to play Kitty Hawk in this game since it's not going to be preserved as a museum ship. That's where I'm coming from. Because after you get scrapped, the only memories we're going to have is photos. And that's it. I guess that might be enough, but still I would think that others would want to see it preserved in this game somehow. That's just kind of where I'm coming from because these were literally the last ships that could actually become museum ships because everything after it's pretty much, you know, nuclear powered. Unless it's like an Arleigh Burke class. I'm sure there's other stuff that's not nuclear powered, like the smaller ships, those could become museum ships, but anything other than that is literally going to be nuclear and there's no way you're going to be able to preserve it.
I'm just kind of switching back to normal shells because this comet is coming out. Yeah, I just, I'm just thinking, I keep coming back to this. If, if, since they're getting scrapped, you know, how else are we going to preserve their memory? Are we only going to be able to remember them through photos, or would we like to actually see Kitty Hawk and John F. Kennedy in this game in some form? Before you get all up in arms, I want to say that also you can sit there and put, you could also stick your three dreads in the game somehow too. I believe it should be possible to draw from both eras. You kind of need to at this point because we're already seeing clones. Did you see that that Spanish Spanish destroyer and that dead blood? It's literally a clone of the Italians. I don't like seeing that. Oh, and my torpedoes. Torpedoes are out. Are you kidding me? That was the one time I could actually use the damn things. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to swear, guys. Just... We just didn't really do good in clan battles tonight. I'm kind of recording this after the clan battles. I normally need, need to be this negative on us. Just kind of lost a lot of battles. Still did 117,000 damage, but that's besides the point. What I'm trying to get at here is that the game is running out of artillery ships. It's not like roll the tanks so where you can just find a bunch of blueprints setting around that you can draw from. I mean, theoretically, what we got left? Maybe some Japanese designs, some other lesser, smaller known nations. I'm just trying to think here for the future of the game because honestly at this point I'm seeing that our options are getting limited as the years go on. Obviously we can extend it out with submarines, which is kind of why they've been added to the game from what I understand is that they're running out of lines to put in so now they're going to do submarines. Oh boy. But I think there should be other types of ships in the game that would make sense. A hybrid. Cruisers from the Japanese, I think, still need to be put in. I just don't want to see a bunch of clone ships. I mean, we already got four different versions of Otago. Otago, Otago Black, Otago Maya. Otago... There's Otago variant, because there's Maya, Takeo, yeah. Maya, Takeo, Black, and Otago. And then I, I almost want to say there's another version of Otago. Forget. Take a look, see once I get back to port. I have to stagger out a couple of these video releases here. That way you guys have content. Try to get back to that rhythm I had going before where I had a video every other day. Let's see if I can do it. I just saw Jurassic Park and I thought it was decent, so I'm gonna do a full review on that later. I'm gonna do the Transformers last night review too to come to think of it, and the Kenobi review. So three potential videos right there I gotta get to work on. Killer film reviews. Yeah, I haven't uploaded to the Zombies channel in nearly two weeks and I'm just like kind of like being like, uh, and then I gained subscribers so I was like, okay, that's weird. So yeah. It's, it's give and take. Do what you can with the time you have. Can't be recording videos too late into the night. It's, you know, I gotta be working stuff. Ugh, oh, man. You know what I wanna also see in the future? I wanna see some sort of museum mode in the game. Like, take the collections and make a dip make a museum mode where you can sit there and take a look at the ship's history and actually have a more descriptive history behind each ship that you can tell us where it came from that sort of a thing I don't think that would be a bad idea so far the only thing closest to that is the collections I'd love to have a full-on museum mode in the game one of these days 
sit there and take a look at the ship, the guns, and the components, and I'll tell you where they all came from. Give you a more detailed description. That's what I would like to see, honestly, and probably, probably a release table inside the game that tells you when each ship's going to sit there and, and launch. But we don't typically know in what patch a ship's coming unless we read the devlog. I'd like them to just incorporate what they put in the devlog inside the game client. So that makes a lot of sense to me for them to do that. If I can get him with my torch to try. He's gone. Maybe I just took a bunch of damage. Uh, uh, things happen at the end of the day, and I'm gonna try to just keep up on the videos as best as I can, so please understand that. Just got this guy the other day, and I find him to be pretty fun to play. So We'll kind of see where things go from here. I suppose on another note, we do have we do have Conde finally, so I'm probably going to get a review done on that eventually. That was the ship you saw at the first of it. I would say I got to get a review done on Marseille here pretty quick. We're going to be in the British cruisers pretty quick here. It's like we're two on four into them. It's kind of they give you the rundown. It's like a more sluggish sure board pretty much. It handles okay. So until next time, you know, take it easy and try and try to just do what you can. I'll get to videos as soon as I can. I apologize that we've been a little slow on them lately, but I'm doing what I can. So I appreciate your patience, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Time depending. What the heck was that? First spots. Oh, I thought I was gonna ship. Oh, that's just a new slot, okay. Imperial Monogram Peter de Great. That must have been a mission I just did. But yeah, you know, it's it is what it is, you know, you, you do what you can. I don't expect people will get I don't expect people will get what they want in the game always, you know. I'm not expecting Kitty Hawk to be in the game within the next year or two unless Wargaming really decides to push for that era. I just want to find a way to bring Kitty Hawk in the game without introducing missiles into the game as my thing. I want to see more scenarios eventually too. Until next time, you know, take care and I'll see you in the next video.